Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video for you guys today, kind of an old school video. If you've been watching my channel for a while, um, if you're watching this video, you probably know that I started out my channel a few years ago in the luxury handbag world. I love buying luxury handbags. It's kind of just like my thing. I don't obviously make as many videos, not even close to as many videos as I used to. I definitely have branched out. Uh, but with that said, when I find something that I absolutely love, I pounce on it. But that doesn't happen very often anymore. I don't know, I kind of feel like it takes a lot for me to get really excited about a handbag these days. So I feel like that could be a good thing. I feel like when I do an unboxing video, it's like, oh my gosh, this is really exciting. And I feel like that's what it is today. So it is a pretty, epic Chanel unboxing. Um, so let me just, here, I even made notes because I was like, I need to make sure that I cover everything properly. Uh, so I am gonna go into detail, obviously, about everything that I got. I do have a couple questions at the end of the video that I just wanna ask you, just as followers and subscribers of my channel. So stay to the end and then comment down below your thoughts. If you're new, consider subscribing though. I would love to have you back. Obviously I do luxury handbag videos sometimes, but I also do fashion and style. So let's get started. Now guys, I don't wanna go through this video too fast, but at the same time, I can't stay up here that long because we have a garage, we have our garage directly below this closet and we're having it painted with also epoxy flooring. Our whole garage is getting like completely redone and <laughs> I'm smelling the fumes. This video could be entertaining. Just kidding. I don't think I'm, I'm that far gone yet, but I'm just saying I got, I, I, I have to start. I have to start unboxing this. So uh, stay tuned for house an, a house update video because I haven't done that. We've made a lot of changes in and outside of our house and I want to share them with you. So that's going to be an upcoming video as well. But let's get to the Chanel unboxing. Uh, so this is one of those bags that I had no idea that I was going to buy. I take that back. I knew that I wanted this bag. That sounds completely contradictory. What I'm trying to say is I have always wanted this bag, but it's so hard to find. And so what I mean is I woke up that day not having a clue that I was gonna buy it that day. And then it popped up because there's like a lot of places I follow for pre-loved vintage. This is a vintage bag. Um, and it came up and I literally, as soon as I saw it, I like, you know, did my normal checks and I bought it and I was nervous, but I've already looked at it and it's great and I just love it. I can't wait to share it with you. So um, it's a vintage Chanel bag. I do not have that in my collection whatsoever. Ugh, this, okay, there's a lot I wanna get through. So let me just show you what it is. It is a vintage Chanel jumbo bag in a beautiful beige color. I feel like the color is not coming up properly. I am super, super picky about my beiges. I do not like a yellow hue in them whatsoever. And I feel like it's kind of coming up in a like a weird yellowy tone. It's not. It is a beautiful, beautiful beige color. Um, and it has lambskin leather, okay. I wanna get into that as well, but uh, this is this is definitely an older bag, but it's in wonderful condition. It has a large CC lock. This was only done for a few years, but it is the jumbo size. So I will in a second pull over my modern version of the jumbo bag that I have in black. Um, but this is just, oh my gosh, this is literally what I've had my eye on for so long, um, I had my Gucci Marmont bag that was kind of similar to this and I ended up selling that um, because this is what I wanted and it, it was very, very similar to this and I finally found it. Um, so anyway, when you open it, it's actually a single flap which is also what I wanted because my other is a double. Um, so let me just see here. I, like I said, I, did I tell you this yet? I have notes. Let me just go over a few key things about this and then I'm gonna show you some comparisons. So first, like I said, it's lambskin leather, which my other, let me just, hold on. Okay, so this is my modern Chanel jumbo bag. It's in caviar leather, by the way, which I wanted and it's a double flap. So when I mean double, I mean, if you're a Chanel fan whatsoever, you totally know what I mean, but when you open it, there is a double flap. So that really helps it maintain its shape, which I honestly, I do not mind a double flap. I feel like when you're getting into it from this way, it seems awkward, but if it's over your shoulder, and you reach in, it's not bad at all. So just keep that in mind. But this is a fantastic bag, I love it. This 
is just totally different. I wanted, I wanted like complete opposites, which is what I got. So this is a single flap. Um, so it really, really is a lot lighter. It is less fussy. You can really just reach in there. Um, it still does have a, a flap in here and then it has a zipper compartment. The lambskin leather is so durable. So I do have another lambskin bag. It's a, a rectangular mini. It's a much newer Chanel bag. And I don't mind the lambskin leather. I do prefer caviar. However, I have heard and I've read that vintage old school Chanel leather that's lambskin is so durable. And I have just consistently seen that and read that and heard that. I've read forums about that. Um, and so I just wanted to try out, the, like, I just wanted to try it out. And I, guys, I am so in agreement with that. This leather feels so much more durable. It is still so buttery. It is still so classic to Chanel but it seems so much more durable than my other lambskin bag. Like the other one, I, I'm not like insanely careful with it, but there are some marks. There are zero marks on this bag. Um, and it doesn't even, like if I wanted to make a mark, I couldn't. If I wanted to make a mark on my other bag, I totally could. Um, so anyway, I'm very, very happy with this lambskin. Give vintage lambskin a try. I really think you will be impressed with it. I also love this larger CC lock right here. So I did wanna mention a few things about that. So there are actually like no scratches really on it, which is very impressive. Uh, and it does have that, that you know, gold stamp thing here in the corner, which I, through the years, have, have researched about this and I've heard different things. A lot of people think that that is a, to signify that it's plated in 24 karat gold, um, which it is. But I've also read and researched that that is actually a mark indicating that it was produced and made in France. And so if you do open this bag, um, right here on the inside, it does say that it was made in France. And Chanel is a French company, so a lot of people prefer their bags to be made in France. I'm not sure I necessarily care, but uh, if you look at the date code of this bag, which, geez, I just keep opening and closing the bag, but if you reach in here, there's a date code in there. Um, um, and then also there is the authentication card and it does have a three at the beginning of it, which again, doing research, that means that this bag was created between the years 1994 to 1996, somewhere in there. Um, and I believe all of, the, all of the bags that look like this do have the larger CC lock and they were all made in France, which is again, this stamping thing right here. Uh, and it does have the, the higher 24 karat gold plating. I do believe, and, and I'm, I don't know, this is where I'm just kind of unsure. I do believe that these are also gold plated, but I think it's 10 karat gold plated. I could be wrong. Again, I feel like I, I often see a lot of like differing opinions about that. That's just something to consider. Comment below if you happen to know for sure. Another thing that I wanted to mention about this vintage bag is actually the chain. Um, it's actually just really solid, but like loose and flowy, but really like substantial at the same time. And my other one over here, it it feels very similar, except it's so loud. And I will say that about these modern bags. I think it I think it could have to do with it being caviar leather. I don't know, there's probably a lot of different factors, but a lot of people say um, how loud their, you know, Chanel bags are with the chain. And that's something I immediately noticed. And it really doesn't bother me, but I actually really appreciate the way this feels. It just is like so much more comfortable. Um, it's just not loud. There's so many ways you can wear it. So let me just try it on. All right, so I feel like this will be the main way that I will wear it, just over the shoulder. It's just such a good size. It's not too bulky. It's not too boxy. It really just allows you to like keep your hand right here. And again, I almost feel like you can really see how beautiful of a color it is from from back here now. I don't know, it's just such a, like, kind of like a teeny bit darker of a beige. Like it's not too light, um, but it's not too dark either. I just absolutely love the color of it. Um, I love the gold hardware to it. It's just stunning in my opinion. So this is what it looks like. I am five foot five. Okay, so what's really unique about the, the vintage way that this was designed. See how these two holes up here are kind of side by side instead of 
vertical. Here, let me just show you the difference here. See how these two are on top of each other, like the two holes? You can easily like slide the chain in and out which can be nice, but these holes are side by side, as I keep mentioning. So to kind of change the strap length, you really do have to kind of open it and adjust it like this. Otherwise it doesn't flow back and forth as easy, which might sound like a negative thing. It's actually good because I adjusted the strap to be kind of loose right here and then much longer here. And then I'm going to close the bag and have that strap just kind of, you know, hang right there. And then that way I can make it a crossbody length very, very easily. Most jumbos you cannot do that with because the strap would slide around. So really depending on how tall you are, you can kind of just adjust this for your perfect height. And I don't really necessarily think that I'm going to be, you know, using this as a crossbody that much, but it's, I just love bags that give me different options depending on what I'm wearing or where I'm going or what I'm doing. All right, so I pulled it back through and I do think that this will just be kind of the, the main way that I will wear it. I just love it so much. I am so, so, so happy with it. All right, so if you happen to be interested in a Chanel vintage bag, um, it doesn't have to be a jumbo, it doesn't have to look like this at all, but I will spend some time, I'm gonna try and find some good vintage pre-love bags for you. I think they're just such, I don't know, like unique and durable and amazing, like an interesting, like a little investment. Um, I know people don't really like to say like investment when it comes to bags, but there are times that they really are an investment and you can either make money or at least, you know, if you were to sell it, get your money back. There, there, it's not always the case, but um, I'll link some below. This bag also looks fabulous in black. Um, this is more like the modern version, but this in black, I also just absolutely love. I just felt like I already had a black Chanel jumbo. I didn't need that, um, but I'm just so thrilled I found it in beige in really good condition too. So um, now I just wanna get into a few questions for you guys, and if you could just comment down below, I would really, really love it. So the first question is, as you know, and I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I definitely don't do as many luxury handbag videos as I used to. But I want to I want to incorporate them a little bit more than I do right now, but I just haven't lately because I haven't been inspired with specific video topics. Like, what do you guys wanna see? I, I don't wanna just sit down and just film something just to film it. Like, I want it to be really good and, and that's why I haven't. So comment down below some, some options and I will try to film those because, or at least one or two, maybe one, two, I don't know. Um, and then the other question I have for you guys in a couple recent videos, I've mentioned that there are a few handbags and designer items like a wallet, a scarf. Like I have a few things that I want to sell and I have sold a few things on my Facebook page and I said like, oh, that's where I'll sell them because that's kind of where I used to buy things. Like I would get on Facebook groups and I would make purchases and save a lot of money. It was just like really fun for me to do it on Facebook. So that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, oh, I'll do it there. But I kind of got an overwhelming response from people saying that they don't really love Facebook as much as they used to. So if you would prefer for me to do it on my Instagram Instagram because I am a lot more active on my Instagram page. Let me know. I like, I want to know your thoughts. Maybe I should sell some items on my Instagram. Um, anyway, just let me know your thoughts. I love you guys to pieces. Um, I appreciate your support along like through the years. If you've been watching me for a while, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I enjoyed filming it. These are like the best videos to film. Like it's just easy and fun. And anyway, I'm rambling. Fumes are happening. I need to go downstairs. So I will talk to you guys soon. I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And I will, I, I, will, I will see you soon. Wow. Okay. Bye.